BMW with the 1 Series and Audi with the A3 roll the roost in the medium hatchback segment. And Volvo knew they had to do something different. And here it is. This is a Volvo V40 hatchback. And yes, as you can see, it's quite striking. It's probably up there with the Alfa Romeo Giulietta. It's away from the bland designs of the, the German manufacturers. It looks good. But it, is it any good to drive? Is it any good on a practicality front? Let's go and find out. It's been a long time since Volvo made a classy and sleek five-door hatchback. But from the, the contours on the bonnet, right up this roof line, which is a bit coupe-esque, it really is a really striking car. The design leaves the German manufacturers like BMW and Audi well behind. The Volvo V40 hatchback is rather plush inside. It's got the, uh, the leather seats and talking about the seats, these are some of the most comfortable seats possibly in the car industry. Bolstering for your back is brilliant, side sports very very good and they're just very comfy on long journeys. The plastics, well, they're soft to touch and very neatly designed. There's plenty of kit on this, uh, this trim level. The test car that we have is SE, so you've got uh, nav, you've got radio, you've got media, you've also got my car options, which means you can have like safety items like city safety alerts on, drive alerts on, or even collision warning alerts on or off. There's cruise control on the steering wheel, so you never have to move your hands off the steering wheel. And there's also volume controls and um, Bluetooth connections as well, so that you can control the phone or you control your radio or CD. Brilliant. You've also got the floating console in the V40 hatchback. This was first seen in the Volvo S40, and it's quite nifty. This one is in brushed aluminium, and behind it, you have somewhere to put your phone or maybe loose change for the car park meter. So yeah. As you can see, the, uh, the Volvo V40 hatchback is a very, very pleasant cabin to spend time in. For appeal, we give Volvo's V40 hatchback four stars. The Volvo has one of the biggest boots in the sector. Lift the boot, and you can see there's quite a lot of room in here. 402 litres, actually, with the seats in place. Now that's bigger than an Audi A3. The A3 is 365 litres. We can also lift this level. We get a little more space in here. Lie it like that. And we can get a few items stored on either side or on the flat. Put it back down again, you get the flat bed. If we go inside, we can expand the boot to 1,032 litres. When it comes to practicality, we give the Volvo V40 five stars. Under the bonnet has got the uh, two liter diesel D5 engine that produces 175 brake horsepower and get, can get from zero to 60 mile an hour in 8.2 seconds. This engine is pretty lively and it propels the Volvo along nicely. It's great on the motorway as well. But, one downside is, you'll need to keep an eye on that speedo or you'll be uh, creeping over the national limit. The Volvo were permitted has a top speed of 134 mile an hour, which is pretty good. On the performance front, we give the Volvo V40 3.5 stars. On the ride and handling though, however, the Volvo isn't so good. It's not so dynamic. Through the bends, it's, it's quite nimble and agile for, you know, for the size of this car. But the, the BM1 series and the Audi A3 just feel a little bit better. Ride and handling, we give the Volvo three stars. It's not quite up to the BMW 1 series or even a Volkswagen Golf. The entry level ES version includes Volvo's city safety system, a pedestrian airbag, which is a world first, Bluetooth, 5 inch colour display screen, electronic climate control and 16 inch alloy wheels. Move up to the SE and the trim we had, you get all that kit, plus 
textile T-Tech upholstery, graphite inlays, cruise control, steering wheel remote controls, keyless start, electric door mirrors, ground lighting and chrome exterior trim. All the V40 nav models has a fully integrated sat nav with voice recognition and a 7 inch colour display and a DVD player. On ownership, we give the Volvo V40 4.5 stars. This is where it probably comes into its own. So has the V40 hatchback achieved what it was set out to do? Well, yes and no. It is much, much better than the S40. But is it as good as the competition? No, not yet. If you want something left field that you know is going to be reliable and safe, then the V40 is your bag. Remember, this Volvo has got a world first. It comes with a pedestrian airbag as standard. This system uses sensors built into the front bumper and will deploy the airbag if the system thinks the car is about to hit a pedestrian. This should reduce injury to pedestrians in the event of an accident. The Volvo V40 is priced at £24,795 and it will average 65.7 mpg. Probably in real world terms, you're going to get high 50s. So that's pretty good. The Volvo is a perfect fleet car and it's a perfect family hatchback. Overall, we give the Volvo V40 four Motor Torque stars.